Good afternoon. This is Triple Two Three here with our opening day for the Pokemon Double Play Challenge. Today's matchup is between the Starmies and the Groviles. We're here at Big Stadium in Nimbasa City. Here are the lineups for today's game. For the Starmies, leading off and playing center field, it is going to be Mew Four. Then it is John Magby at first base, followed by Junior Snivy at second base. Jason Bayleaf is batting fourth. He's the left fielder. John Gallade is batting fifth, he's the DH, followed by Ty Wigglytuff, the third baseman. Gabe Metagross is batting seventh, he's the right fielder. Mike Roselia is the catcher and he's batting eighth, and finally batting ninth, the shortstop, Hector Lunatone. And pitching for the Starmies is going to be... Mudkip Wells. For the Groviles, here's their starting lineup for today. Batting leadoff and center fielder, it is going to be Andres Toros. The second baseman is Skip Loom Schumacher. He's batting second. Tory Honor is the right fielder today. He'll bat third. The designated hitter today is John Carlos Stantler. He's batting cleanup. Batting fifth is Ryan Litwick. He's playing left field. Adam Dunsparce is the sixth batter. He's going to play first base. Batting seventh is John Muck, the catcher. Then batting eighth is Manny Machap, the third baseman. And finally batting ninth, the shortstop, Robert Audino. And pitching for the Groviles is Jared Weavile. Well, we're all set to play, so let's play ball. Play ball. Pitching, Jared, Revile. At bat, Mew Ford. So here we are, Mew Ford, leading off today's game for the Starmies, and here's the pitch. It is outside ball one, and we're underway. One ball and no strikes to the center fielder Ford. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed strike one. The count evens at one and one. Weavile with the delivery, and here it comes. It is low and in the dirt, ball two. Two balls and one strike on Ford. The next offering from Weavile, swing and a miss, it's two and two. The 2-2 two -two pitch from Weavile, got him looking, strike three, one away. At bat, John Magby. And now John Magby steps into the batter's box against Weavile, and here's the pitch. Outside, ball one. One ball and no strikes to Magby. And here's the next offering. Swing and a miss, the count evens at one. One ball and one strike to Magby, and here's the next pitch. That is inside for ball two. Two balls and a strike on the first baseman. And the pitch. That is low, ball three. A hitter's count to Magby, it's three balls and one strike. And the pitch. Outside for ball four, and Magby draws a walk. At bat, Junior Snivy. And so with a runner on first base, here's Junior Snivy. Swing and a miss, it's strike one. No balls, one strike to the second baseman. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. No balls and two strikes to Snivy. Here's the pitch from Weavile, and it's way outside. It's ball one. One and two count on Snivy. We're in the first inning, no score. Got him looking, two away. At bat, Jason Bayleaf. And now Jason Bayleaf, the left fielder, steps up to the plate. Two outs, and a runner on first. And here's a drive to center field, but the play will be made by Toros to end the inning. No runs, no hits, one left, no score. Pitching, Mudkip, Wales. At bat, Andres Toros. And here's Andres Toros to lead it off for the Groviles in the bottom of the first. And it's a chopper fouled back. No balls and one strike to Toros. The pitch is taken inside for ball one. The count is even at one. Mudkip with the delivery, and here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. One ball and two strikes to Toros. And the next pitch is outside for ball two. That evens the count at two balls and two strikes to Toros. And here's the pitch. That just misses Lowen in, ball three. The count runs full now on Toros. And here's the payoff pitch. There's a line drive to left field for a base hit, and there's the first hit of the ball game. It belongs to Andres Toros. 
Matt Skiploom Schlemacher. Andres Toros has pretty good speed at first base. We'll see if he thinks about stealing as Skiploom Schumacher steps in and takes ball one. One ball and no strikes to the second base. There he goes. Here's the throw there. He's out. They have thrown him out, and he's caught stealing is Andres Toros. And there's a pop-up to the catcher. The play is made by Roselia. Two away. At bat, Tori Haunter. And now Tori Haunter steps up to the plate. There's the pitch. There's a fly ball into left field, but that will be playable for Bayleaf to end the inning. No runs, one hits, no errors, and nobody left on. No score after one. At bat, John Gallade. And now John Gallade steps up to the plate to lead off the second inning. The pitch is taken inside for ball one. One ball and no strikes to the designated hitter. Here's the pitch. In the dirt, it's ball two. Two balls and no strikes on John Gallade. And now here's the next offering. There's a line drive to center field, base hit. So John Gallade picks up the first hit for the Starmies and he's on base. At bat, Ty Wigglytuff. Ty Wigglytuff now steps in the third baseman batting sixth today and swings and misses at the first offering it's 0-1 Weavile gets a sign and here's the pitch there's a line drive hit sharply to right field but foul and now quickly he's behind 0-2 here's the pitch it's high for ball one one ball and two strikes on Ty Wigley tough Here's the next offering from Weavile. There's a line drive to right field, and it is going to be caught by the right fielder, Tory Haunter. One out. At bat, Gabe Medagros. Wiggly Tough gave it a ride, but it hung up long enough for Haunter to make a play. And now Gabe Medagros hits a line drive to left field, but right at the left fielder, Ryan Whitlick. He hit that ball hard, but Litwick Got a that good beat on it. Mike Roselia. Now the catcher, Mike Roselia, steps up to the plate. Pitch is taken outside for ball one. The count is 1-0 and oh to the catcher. No score here in the top of the second inning, and here's the pitch. And he misses again. Ball two. Two balls and no strikes. Weavile's fallen behind. Here's the next offering. Swing and a miss. Count runs to 2-1. and one. Delayed is at first. He let off the inning with a single. And that pitch misses low. Ball three. Three balls and one strike to the catcher, Roselia. And here's the next pitch from Weavile. There's a ground ball to shortstop. They get the force play at second to end the inning. No runs, one hits, no errors. At bat, Giancarlo Stantler. So now we go to the bottom of the second inning. Giancarlo Stantler leads it off. And that ball nearly hit him from Wells. One ball and no strikes to the designated hitter, Stantler. And here's the pitch. Inside again, ball two. Two balls and no strikes to Stantler. If you recall from the last game, he hit a home run. Swing and a miss. The count runs to two and one. No score here in the bottom of the second inning. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. And now two balls and two strikes to the D.H. Stantler. The delivery from Mudkip. Outside, count runs full. And now three balls and two strikes. Here's the payoff from Mudkip. It's in the dirt, and it's a walk for Stantler. That's the first walk of the game given up by Mudkip. At bat, Ryan Litwick. And now Ryan Litwick steps up to the plate. Here's the pitch. There's a pop-up to the catcher, but it'll get out of play. Strike one. 0-1 count to Ryan Litwick. Stantler on first. Ground ball to first. This could be two. Out at second. Not in time at first. So it's a fielder's choice for Ryan Litwick. He's now at first base. There's one away. At bat, Adam Dunsparce. Now the first baseman, Adam Dunsparce, steps in. 
Here is the delivery. That pitch misses low, it's ball one. One and oh, the count of the first baseman, Dunsparce. And now here's the next pitch from Mudkip. There goes Litwick, and he's thrown out trying to steal. Two away. That is the second batter to be caught stealing. And now swung on and missed, the count is one and two. Roselia has thrown out two base runners trying to steal bases today. Down the middle, he's caught looking to end the inning. We've played through two, no score. At bat, Hector Lunaton. And now Hector Lunaton steps up to the plate. And before we get with his bat, we have a trivia question here. Billy Hamilton of the Cincinnati Reds stole 155 bases in 2012. When he got up to the major leagues in 2013, he had 13 stolen bases in a row before finally being caught stealing by a certain catcher. Name the catcher to be the first major league catcher to throw out Billy Hamilton. I'll give you guys a hint. It's not Yadier Molina. Play ball. Play ball. And now Hector Lunaton steps up to the plate. Top of the third against Jared Weavile. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike one. We'll have the answer to that trivia question at the top of the fourth. No balls and one strike to the shortstop Lunaton. There's a line drive to left field and he'll get down for a base hit. And so a leadoff single for Hector Lunaton. It's the second hit of the ball game for the Starmies. At bat, Mew Ford. And now with Mew Ford coming to the plate, we'll see if Lunaton tries to steal a bag. That pitch misses for a ball low. One ball and no strikes to Mew. And the pitch. There he goes, Lunatone. The throw down. They got him. I caught stealing on Hector Lunatone. The third base runner already erased by the catchers. And a swing and a miss from Mew. The count is one and two. Mew Ford playing center field today. Here's the pitch from Weavile. Got him. Strike three. Two away. At bat, John. Magby. And that's the second time Ford has struck out today. John Magby steps in. He walked in his first time. The count is 1-0 and oh on the first baseman. Here's the next pitch from Weavile. Outside for ball two. Two balls and no strikes to Magby. Weavile with the delivery. Here it comes. Inside and it's ball three. A true hitter's count for John Magby. Three balls and no strikes. And the next offering from Weavile. Swung on and missed. Count is three and one. He had the green light all the way. Three balls and one strikes. Here it comes to Magby. Inside for ball four, and he has walked for the second time today. A second baseman, Junior Snivy. And now Junior Snivy steps up to the box. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Weavile with the delivery, and here it comes. That pitch is outside for ball one. One ball and one strike. Here's the pitch to Snivy. Inside for ball two. Two balls and one strike to the second baseman. Magby at first. Here's the pitch. There's a ground ball to second. They get the tag on him to end the inning. At bat, John Muck. Now leading off the inning for the Grove Isles, it's John Muck, the catcher, against Wells. Swung on and missed, strike one on Mudkip. No balls and one strike. And here's the next offering. There's a line drive to right foul and out of play. Quickly, Muck is behind, 0-2. The next pitch, swung on and missed, strike three, and Muck goes down on strikes. That's the first strikeout. Bad, Manny Mudkamp. First strikeout for Mudkip, and now Manny Machamp, the third baseman, steps in. And he fouls that one back, strike one. Here's the pitch to Machamp. That one is in the dirt, ball one. One ball and one strike to Manny Machamp. We're here in the bottom of the third inning, no score. 
There's a line drive foul and out of play into right field. One and two now on Manny Machamp. One out, no one on. Swung on and missed, strike three, and Machamp goes down on strikes. At bat, Robert Audino. And now Robert Audino steps up to the plate. Nobody on base and two outs. And hit him. Robert Audino hit by the pitch, and he's going to go to first base. And now Toros will step up. At bat, Andres Toros. Toros, we're back to the top of the order. Runner on first. There's a high fly ball into left field, but it'll be playable for Jason Bayleaf to end the inning. Three innings complete, no score. At bat, Jason Bayleaf. And now Jason Bayleaf will step up to the plate. Here's the answer to the trivia question. I asked you, who was the first Major League Baseball catcher to throw out Billy Hamilton? The answer, Juan Santeno of the New York Mets. Threw him out 13 for 13 in stolen base attempts until that. But get this, in the game, Juan Centeno allowed two stolen bases to Jay Bruce. So, very interesting. And now back to the game. Play ball. Jason Bayleaf, the left fielder, steps up to the plate. He's 0 for 1. And he fouls this one, strike one. 0 and 1 count to Jason Bayleaf. Here's the pitch from Weavile. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 2. Weavile with three strikeouts in the game. Here's the pitch. Got him! One out. At bat, John Gallade. And now John Gallade steps up to the batter's box. Here's the pitch. Inside for ball one. One ball and no strikes to the Gallade. We're here in the top of the fourth inning. There's no score. The pitch. There's a sharp liner foul and out of play. One ball and one strike to Gallade. Gallade is one for one today. As that pitch misses for ball two, two balls and one strike on John Gallade. Here it is. Inside for ball three. Three balls and one strike to the designated hitter. Weavile has his sign and here's the pitch. There's a foul out of play and the count runs full. Three balls and two strikes to Gallade. The payoff from Weavile. Caught looking inside corner, strike three. At bat, tie it, Wiggly Tough. And now Wiggly Tough steps in with nobody on base and two outs. Swung on and missed strike one. Wiggly Tough is 0 for 1 today. And now here's the pitch. Swung on and missed strike two. No balls and two strikes to the third baseman, Wiggly Tough, here in the fourth inning. There's a line drive foul and out of play. Still 0-2 on Wiggly Tough. Weavile gets a sign, and here's the pitch. Caught looking, strike three to end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. The second baseman, Skip Loom Schumacher. And now Skip Loom Schumacher steps up to the plate. He's 0-1. Mudkip misses inside, and it's ball one. One ball and no strike on Mudkip. The pitch. Swung on and missed the count. Evens at one and one. Skip Bloom playing second base today. And here's the pitch. There's a line drive to left field. Will it drop? No. That will be caught by Jason Bayleaf. One away. At bat. Tory Haunter. Now Tory Haunter steps up to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Swung on and missed strike one. No balls and one strike to the right fielder Haunter. The pitch from Mudkip. There's a chopper to the second baseman. Easy play for Snivy. Two away. At bat, Giancarlo Stantler. And now Stantler steps into the batter's box. He walked his first time up. And a line drive foul out of play. Strike one on Stantler. Both pitchers have looked really sharp today. That pitch misses inside for ball one. Neither team has had a runner in scoring position. Wells with the delivery. Here it comes. That one misses low. It's two balls and one strike on Stantler. 
Bottom of the fourth, no score, two away. Here's the pitch. Outside for ball three. Three balls and one strike to Giancarlo Stantler. And here's the next offering from Wells. Swung on and missed. The count runs full. Three balls and two strikes on Giancarlo Stantler. And here's the payoff pitch. Swung on and missed to end the inning. Another strikeout. We've played four innings, still no score. The right fielder, Gabe Metagross. And now Metagross steps into the batter's box. He's 0 for 1. There's a line drive into right center field. That could be extra bases. But it is played nicely by the right fielder to hold him to a single. Nice cutoff right there for Torrey Haunter. Base hit for Metagross. At bat, Mike Roselia. Mike Roselia is now stepping into the batter's box. Here's the pitch. There's a pop up to the catcher, and there will be a play. Roselia is retired, one away. The shortstop, Hector Lunaton. Hector Lunaton now steps in. That last pitch was at 94 miles an hour. There's a line drive foul and out of play. Lunaton is one for one today, but he was also caught stealing. And a ground ball, this could be two. Out at second, out at first, they turn the double play to end the inning. No runs, one hits, no errors. At bat, Ryan Litwick. So we're halfway through the game and there's still no score as Ryan Litwick steps in to lead off the bottom of the fifth inning against Wells. One ball and no strikes to Litwick. And the pitch. And just misses outside, it's ball two. Two balls and no strikes to Litwick. And here's the delivery from Wells. Swung on and missed, two balls and one strike. Litwick is 0 for 1, he reached on a fielder's choice and was later caught stealing. Swung on and missed, it's two and two. Two balls and two strikes to Litwick. The pitch from Wells. There's a pop up. And the play will be made by the catcher, Roselia. One out. The first baseman, Adam Dunsparce. And now Dunsparce steps in. He's 0 for 1 today. Swung on and missed strike one. Roviles only have one hit today. That was a leadoff single by Andres Toros to lead off the game for them. As that pitch misses outside and low, ball one. One ball and one strike to Wells. Inside, two balls and one strikes. That is the count to Dunsparce. And the pitch from Wells. Swung on and missed, it's two and two. That one had some nasty movement. The pitch is low and inside and it's a full count now on Dunsparce. Now the payoff pitch. It is low for ball four and Dunsparce reaches on a walk. So runner on first, one out. A catcher, non Muck. And now Muck steps up to the plate. Struck out in his first at bat. Swung on and missed strike one. No balls and one strike to the catcher, Muck. We're here in the bottom of the fifth inning. There's no score. Swung on and missed strike one. Dunsparce is at first. He is no threat to run, so don't expect him to try and steal. The pitch. There's a pop up to the catcher, and there will be a play for Roselia. Two away. At bat, Manny Machamp. And now Machamp steps up to the batter's box. He's 0 for 1 with the strikeout. Swung on and missed strike one. Wells here in the fifth inning to Machamp. Here's the pitch. Outside for ball one. One ball and one strike to the third baseman, Machamp. And now the delivery from Machamp. There's a foul back. The count now runs to one and two on Manny Machamp. Here's the pitch. There's a line drive to left field, but the play will be made by Bayleaf to end the inning. So we've played through five complete, still no score. At bat, New Ford. And now as we go to the top of the sixth inning, New Ford will step up to lead off. 
before we get to his at bat, here is your Pokemon trivia question for the day. From Generation 4 on, at what level can Meowth learn the move Payday? Now, prior to Generation 4, uh, Persian could also learn the move Payday, but they took it away from him starting in Generation 4. So, what level can Meowth learn the move Payday? We'll have the answer for you in the top half of the seventh inning. Play ball. Mew steps into the batter's box. He's 0 for 2. He has struck out both times against Weavile. And already he's behind 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 2. No balls and two strikes to the center fielder Ford. And here's the delivery from Weavile. There's a line drive to left field, but the play will be made by Litwick. One out. At bat, John Magby. Mew made solid contact there, but Litwick was right there. And now John Magby steps up to the batter's box. He's walked twice today. The count is 1-0 and to the first baseman, Magby. There's a line drive to right field. That's going to be a base hit. It rolls to the wall. Magby heading for second, and he will get there. It's a one-out double for John Magby. He's had a nice game today so far. The second baseman, Junior Snivy. And now Junior Snivy steps into the batter's box. The first runner in scoring position today for either team. The count now is 0-1 to the second baseman, Snivy. Magby at second. Swung on and missed. It's 0-2. No balls and two strikes to the second baseman. Weavile with the delivery, and here it comes. There's a line drive hit sharply, but foul, and the count remains at 0-2. Magby, the runner at second base. And he fouls that one back, still 0-2. We're here in the top half of the sixth inning, the first real threat by either team. Here's the pitch. Fastball caught, looking, strike three, and Magby goes down on strikes, or rather, Snivy does. And so it'll be up to Bayleaf now to drive in Magby. Here it is. Inside for ball one. One ball and no strikes to the left fielder, Bayleaf. Here's the pitch. Outside for ball two. Two balls and no strikes to the left fielder, Bayleaf. Magby at second, two away. And that one misses outside. Three balls and no strikes to Bayleaf. Weavile has his sign, and now the pitch. There's a sharp line drive to right field, but the play is going to be made by Haunter to end the inning. He hit that one right on the button, but right there is the right fielder Haunter. Tough luck. And so we go to the bottom of the sixth inning, and Audino steps to the plate. It's a ground ball to short. They just do get him one out. At bat, Andres Toros. And now Andres Toro steps into the plate. He's got one hit today. He's one for two. In fact, he's got the only hit for the Grovile so far today. And the pitch. There's a line drive to left field. Foul and out of play. No balls and two strikes to Toros. And here's the pitch. There's a ground ball to second. Easy play for Snivy. Two away. At bat, Skip Loom, Schumacher. Toros is now one for three as Skip Loom steps into the batter's box. There's a fly ball to right field. That will be caught by Metagross to end the inning. We've played six complete, still no score. Earl's got Ray Kendra, throwing in the pen. Earl's got Jordan Merrill, throwing in the pen. For the Starmies, we have some activity Earl's in the bullpen. Brandon Kendler. Throwing in the pen. Earl's got Keith Bellassum. Throwing in the pen. Grovile's also have activity in their bullpen. That John Gallade. So to recap, there are two pitchers and both teams that have got activity in the bullpen. It's going to be Ray Kingdrum and George Merrill for the Starmies, and Brandon Kingler and Heath Bellassum for the Groviles. And now the answer to the trivia question. From Generation 4 on, at what level can Meowth learn the move Payday? And the answer is level 30. Level 30. 
Now back to the action. Play ball. John Golade, the DH, will lead off the top of the seventh inning. Still no score. And there's a line drive down the left field line. Fair ball. It'll be a long single for Golade as he reaches. He's now two for three. A third baseman, Ty Wigglytuff. And now Wigglytuff steps in. That is the fifth hit of the ball game for the Starmies. As that pitch is outside for ball one. One ball and no strike to Wigglytuff. And the pitch from Weavile. That misses high and inside, ball two. Two balls and no strikes to Wigglytuff. Weavile has his sign from the catcher and here it comes. Swung on and missed, strike one. Two balls and one strike to Wigglytuff. We're here in the seventh inning, there is no score. And now the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed, strike two. Two balls and two strikes. The next offering from Weavile, here it comes. Caught looking on the outside corner, strike three. One out. A right fielder, Gabe Medagros. That is seven strikeouts now. Make that eight strikeouts now for Weavile. Metagross is the batter. He's one for two today. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed strike one. One ball and one strike to the right fielder Metagross. Gallade is at first. The pitch from Weavile. Swung on and there's a ground ball, could be two. Out at second, safe at first. Metagross reaches on the fielder's choice. The catcher, Mike Roselia. And now Mike Roselia steps into the plate. Two outs and a runner on first. There's a sharp line drive foul and out of play. Roselia is 0 for 2 today. Made contact both times. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. No balls and two strikes to the catcher, Roselia. Top of the seventh, Metagross is on first. And the pitch. Fastball, a line drive to light field, but the play will be made by Haunter to end the inning. We've played through six and a half, still no score. At bat, Tori Haunter. And now Haunter leads off the inning. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout and a walk. I'm sorry, he's 0 for 2 today. Mudkip pitching into his seventh inning of work. Here's the pitch. Way outside, and it's ball two. Two balls and no strikes to the right fielder, Haunter. We're here in the bottom of the seventh inning. It is stretch time. And now, here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Two balls and one strikes to right the high on. Two balls and one strikes to Haunter. Mudkip with the pitch. That one misses high. Ball three. Three balls and one strike. A hitter's count. And now the next offering to Haunter. Swing and a miss. The count runs full. Three balls and two strikes to Haunter. And here's the payoff from Mudkip. There's a high fly ball into right field. But there is room for the right fielder Metagross. One away. He gave it a ride, but just got under it. At bat, Giancarlo Stantler. And Giancarlo Stantler now steps to the plate. He's the one that's 0 for 1 with a strikeout and a walk. And he swings and misses at the first pitch. Strike one. No balls and one strike to Stantler, the DH. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. Very few base runners in this game so far. It's been a true pitcher's duel. And now the next offering from Mudkip. Inside for ball one. One ball and two strikes to Stantler.
And here's the next pitch. There's a line drive foul to right field. Hit it very sharply, but swung a little bit too late. One ball and two strikes is the count on Stantler. Bottom of the seventh, one out. Swung on and missed, strike three. And the second time he's gone down on strikes. A left fielder, Ryan Litwick. That is four strikeouts now for Mudkip as Ryan Litwick steps into the batter's box. That one just misses the inside corner. It's ball one. One ball and no strikes to Litwick. He is playing left field today. And both pitchers have been on their game. That one misses low, ball two. Two balls and no strikes. And now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Two balls and one strike. Seventy-seven mile an hour breaking ball there. Here's the pitch. There's a pop up to the catcher, but it'll get out of play. Two balls and two strikes is the count. Two outs and nobody on base for Litwick. Bottom of the seventh, there's no score. Caught looking, strike three. The fifth strike out of the game for Mudkip. The inning is over. At bat, Hector Lunatone. And now Lunatone leads off. He's one for two today. Swing and a miss. The count is 0-1 on the shortstop. There have only been two at-bats with runners in scoring position total in this game so far. Here's the pitch. Way outside. It's ball one. One ball and one strike to the shortstop. Weavile getting his sign. And here is the pitch. Fast ball, and he couldn't catch up to that one. It's one and two to Lunatone. No runs, five hits, no errors for the Starmies. No runs, one hit, no error for the Grovile. And there's a chopper foul. We'll do it again. Here's the next offering. Swung on and missed, strike three. And Lunatone is down on strikes. One out. The center fielder, Mew Ford. Back to the top of the order and Mew Ford. He's 0 for 3 today with two strikeouts. Ball one. One ball and no strikes is the count to the center fielder, Mew. Weavile is in his eighth inning of work. He's looked pretty good. Swing and a miss, strike one. Weavile has his sign and the pitch. Swung on and missed, strike two. One ball and two strikes to Mew. 88 miles per hour on that last pitch. Here's the next offering. That one misses high, ball two. The count is now even. Two balls and two strikes to the center fielder, Mew. No score here in the eighth, and now the next pitch. Just about hit him, and now the count runs full. Three balls and two strikes to Mew. Weavile, here comes the payoff pitch. And it's high, ball four, and Mew reaches with a walk. And he is a threat to steal. At bat, John Magby. Magby steps up to the plate. He is one for one with a double and two walks. Swung on and missed strike one. No balls and one strike to the first baseman. Mew is the runner on first. Here's the pitch. He's off and running. Throw down to second. Oh, it's a good throw. He is out by plenty. Caught stealing the fourth batter to be erased. Unbelievable. Catchers are on their game today. And now the bases are empty for Magby. Ground ball to second. And the play is made by Skip Bloom to end the inning. That is the first time Magby has been retired today. The first baseman, Adam. Dunsparce. So now Dunsparce leads off the bottom of the eighth for the Groviles. No score. Swung on and missed strike one. Mudkip 
with the delivery, and here it comes. Outside, ball one. One ball and one strike to the first baseman, Dunsparce. He is 0 for 1 today with a walk. That one misses outside. Two balls and one strikes to Dunsparce. Bottom of the eighth inning, no score. A pitcher's duel is continued throughout the entire game. Swung on and missed. It's now 2-2 two two to Dunsparce. Mudkip gets a sign, and here's the pitch. Inside for ball three. The count runs full on Dunsparce. Here's the payoff pitch from Mudkip. It is high for ball four, and Dunsparce has walked for the second time today. And there's going to be a pinch runner. Shuckle is now pinch running for Adam Dunsparce, and now the manager of the Starmies wants to talk with Mudkip. They may take him out. They're going to leave him in. Shuckle is a threat to run. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. No balls and one strike on the catcher, Muck. He's 0 for, 1, 0 for 2 today with a strikeout. That pitch misses. It's one ball and one strike. Mudkip might be running out of gas here. Though he's had some trouble finding the strike zone this inning. There's a line drive to right field, but the play will be made by Metagross. One out. But the ball gets away from the right fielder as he tries to cut it off, and that'll be an error. At bat, Manny, Mudham. The Metagross had trouble with the cutoff, and because of that, Shuckle will advance to second. They don't rule it an error. It ought to be ruled an error. In any event, he's on second base. So a runner in scoring position for Machamp as the count is one and one. An inexcusable throw by Metagross. One ball and one strike to Machamp. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike two. This is the first runner in scoring position for the Grove Isles today. The pitch. Way outside, ball two. Two balls and two strikes to Machamp. We're here in the bottom of the eighth. They've got a runner on second. That is Shuckle. And here's the pitch. Caught looking, strike three. Two away. Six strikeouts now for Mudkip. At bat, Robert Audino. And now Robert Audino steps up to the plate. Takes that pitch low and outside for ball one. He's 0 for 1 today. He was hit by the pitch his first time up. No score here in the bottom of the eighth. It looks like one run could win the game for either team as he misses inside ball two. Two balls and no strikes. Mudkip with the delivery here comes. Swings and misses. Two balls and one strike on Audino. Base hit will likely score Shuckle, who's the runner on second. He pinch ran for Dunsparce. And that pitch misses inside. Three balls and one strikes on Audino. Mudkip trying to get out of this little jam here. He knows if he gives up a runner here, that could be the game. Outside, ball four, and Audino reaches for the second time today. At bat, Andres, Toros. Back to the top of the order, and Toros. He is one for three today. He has the only base hit for the Grove Isles. Runners on first and second, two out. A big opportunity here for the Grove Isles. As that pitch misses low, ball two. Two balls and no strikes. And again, Mudkip is having trouble finding the strike zone. Now, here's the pitch. There's a line drive to center field, but it will be playable for Mew Ford to end the inning. They threaten, but do not score. No runs.
at bat, Junior Schneider.